Changes are coming to Hinkle Fieldhouse, but Butler officials promise not to change the things that make Hoosiers love the building. The school today announced a $16 million fundraising campaign to renovate and update the iconic fieldhouse. RTV6 reporter Norman Cox has more on that plan. Work is already underway at Hinkle, with crews repairing the brick exterior and replacing nearly 10,000 window panes. The fundraising campaign will enable the university to extend the renovations inside with a plan for major updates and improvements, although those improvements will not change the field house's iconic look or character. Athletic director Barry Collier says people love Hinkle, so the school doesn't want to change it too much, but they do want to add amenities while making sure that it lasts another 85 years. And by that, we're going to uh, make the building uh, up to speed with mechanical electrical plumbing. We're also going to enhance the student athlete experience and the fan experience. For student athletes, that will include a new academic center, strength and conditioning rooms, and a sports medicine center. Fans will get more comforts with a new scoreboard with video capability, more chair back seats, and additional restrooms. And preserving and updating the field house, we will honor its place as a state and national landmark. We will also ensure that the field house will serve student athletes and all Hoosiers for generations to come. Some will view the new facilities as a recruiting plus as Butler moves up to a tougher conference. But basketball coach Brad Stevens says that isn't the reason he's so happy with the plan. I'm more concerned about the 350 plus student athletes that we have at Butler. Um, I, I think it's great for them to have the best facilities they can have. I love the idea of a more spacious weight room. I think we need that. I think we need a training room that's more up to date so that our football players all are all on top of each other getting ready to be taped 20 at a time. I'm Norman Cox, 6 News.